in a world full of distractions, vying for our attention. One enduring truth shines brighter than all. Making God a priority transforms our entire existence. It is like, like discovering a key that opens a realm of joy, peace, and profound purpose. Well, protected by an undefeated barrier in the midst of the storm is God's protection and assurance guiding your steps. Life throws curveballs and it is easy to get lost in the hustle and bustle, but when we put God at the center of our lives, everything else falls into place. Matthew 6.33 reminds us to seek His kingdom and righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. This verse is not just a suggestion, but it is a formula for a life filled with blessings and guidance right now if you believe that God can make a difference in your life today. We let us stand firm in faith together. I will pray fervently to you in the mighty name of Jesus. So stay awake until the end and open your heart to receive the blessings of this prayer. Think of your life's priorities as if they were puzzle pieces without the cornerstone. The puzzle is still incomplete. God is that cornerstone when he was first. Every other piece fits perfect. Proverbs 3, 6 says that you submit yourself to him in all ways and he will make your way which is frankly a promise of guidance and clarity for those who honor God above all else. Making God the number one priority in your life is a call to action that is about waking up every day and deciding that He will guide your thoughts. Those decisions and actions are a commitment that transforms not only your life but the lives of those around you. In today's digital age, Distractions are everywhere, and it's easy to lose focus and put worldly things before God. But Luke 12, 34 offers a powerful reminder of where is your treasure, your heart, also my friend. Don't forget these words, because where your treasure is, there your heart will be too. This verse challenges us to consider what we truly value and encourages us to cherish our relationships with God above all. Putting God first is not without its challenges, but the rewards of eternal joy, peace, and a sense of purpose are just the beginning. God promises to be with us every step of the way to guide us, guide, and protect us. James 4.8 tells us to draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. This is a beautiful promise of intimacy with the Creator reserved for those who make Him a priority. Consider the story of countless individuals have experienced miraculous changes in their lives simply by putting God first. Their testimony is a powerful testimony to God's faithfulness and love. It is an invitation for us to experience the same transformation and blessings my friend's prayers are our direct line to God. It is how we communicate our fears desires and gratitude when God is our priority. Prayer becomes as natural as breathing it is in these moments of communion that we find strength and guidance for our journey. The Bible is not just a book, but the living Word of God. By putting God first, we commit to regularly delving into His Word. Psalm 1119 verse 105 says, Your word is always at my feet and a light for my path. The Bible God tells us to give wisdom and direction to every aspect of our lives today. Let's start our day by putting God first. I urge you to follow the path of blessed and peaceful life by asking God to take his rightful place in our hearts and lives to guide us, to shape us, and to lead us into a future filled with His presence and love. All those in my voice, let us come to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can receive all the blessings of this prayer. You can also listen to the daily prayer as you build your faith and agree with each other. Let us pray to our merciful and loving God, Heavenly Father, Creator of heaven and land. 
I come before you in awe of your mighty power and endless love. You are worthy of all praise, and my soul sings. O holy name of the Lord, from the rising of the sun until the same name God dives will be praised above all others in this moment of communion with God. I give thanks for the countless blessings God has poured into my life for the air I breathe in community. I am a part, and your constant presence guides me through each day, Lord. I acknowledge my shortcomings and the times I have failed to meet your expectations. I ask your forgiveness for every word, thought, and action that has not honored you as such. I extend forgiveness to those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness or hurt in my heart, child. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that my steps are ordered by you leading me into your truth and wisdom, that I can make decisions that honor you and reflect righteousness your. He gives me insight and clarity that I can navigate the complexities of life with his word as my guide in every decision I face. Let your wisdom be my constant companion, illuminating the path you desire for me to tread in my battle against distractions and the pull of worldly desires. I rebuke in the name of Jesus every attempt of the enemy to lead me astray. Help me turn to you. Ensure that my heart and mind are protected by you from the allure of materialism, the nature, or noise of this age takes away the ability to hear God's voice calling for a life centered on his eternal truths. Merciful God, I seek to draw closer to you to live a life that exemplifies your love and affection. Mercy strengthens me in faith, fills me with the fruits of your spirit. May the joy of peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, tenderness, and self-control grow in me and me as I walk in obedience to your will. Let my life be a beacon of your grace to those around me. Lord, I ask for protection against the plots of the enemy in the name of Jesus. I rebuke any form of attack, whether on my health, my finances, my family, or my spirit, my God. Lord, protect me with your mighty armor, so that I can stand firm against the trials and temptations that seek to derail me. Surround me and my loved ones with your angels, so that they I can live safely under your supervision for my family and friends. I pray that your blessings will flood their lives and grant them health and peace, so that they may feel your presence and know the depth of your love, protecting them from harm and lead them along paths that bring them closer to you as I say this prayer with everyone listening. I am grateful for every humble heart before you, Lord, right now. We join together in prayer for each other confidently in your promise to be among us. Bless us guide us and work through us so that we can be instruments of his peace and love in this world. Will we declare victory over our struggles, declare healing of our bodies and minds, and give thanks for his protection daily. Lord, may your spirit fill us, guide us in all truth, and empower us to live out the messages and wisdom of your word. We put you first in our lives. Lord, and we commit our lives into your mighty hands. For your kingdom is strength and glory forever. Thank you for hearing and answering my prayer in your name, precious Jesus. I pray amen. If you are blessed by this prayer, type the word amen in the comment section below. I declare, declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you in the name of Jesus. You can help us to reach more people and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with friends or family members and by clicking the like button. And remember to subscribe our channel for more videos that will bless your heart and lift your spirit. We appreciate all your support. You are blessed to be blessed. Please leave your prayer requests in the comments so we can present them before God for blessings and your victory. Also so that other believers on the YouTube platform and around the world can join us and start praying for you. 
and we want you to know that even if you don't see an answer to your prayer request, that doesn't mean you shouldn't pray. Rest assured that we are actively lifting every prayer request, asking God in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, bring healing and guidance according to God's perfect plan, standing firm in faith with us while we pray to God for all glory. May His grace and peace. Amen.